it's clan here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a dual boot with Windows 11 and Ubuntu 2.04 in your PC so first what we're going to do is we will download an Ubuntu OS since we already have a Windows 11 operating system we will just add the Ubuntu OS so we will go to Ubuntu website so we will click here in this official site and we will go to downloads and here you should choose the 20 Serapor LTS it means long term service so we'll just click this to download the ISO file now the Ubuntu is downloading but actually I already have the ISO file so I will just cancel this and we'll go to downloads um we'll go to here so as you can see i have a uh, three iso files which is the zoran os ubuntu and windows 11 so we will use now the ubuntu 20.04 now since we have an ISO file, we will download Rufus to make a bootable device. So I'm gonna show you. Just click this 3.15 and X and click open to install the Rufus. Now, Rufus is running in our PC. So it's time to make a bootable device with Ubuntu OS. So here as you can see that is my flash drive. And just click this ISO image. All you have to do is just click this select and choose the ISO file that you need then click open and now you can change the volume label but I'm not gonna change it just click start just click start right in ISO image and ok We'll just fast forward and now we have the Ubuntu OS in our bootable device. Now I will show you what happened to our bootable device. So it says the name of my device now is Ubuntu. I will remove this and plug in it again to change the icon just like that now the second thing we will do is to create this management we will create a space for our OS so we will go to file management the fi file explorer and click this PC show more properties and click manage so now we will go to this management once you are in the desk management so as you can see here I have three storages but 
I'm using the this one for my OS which is the SSD so I'm going to make now a space for our Ubuntu OS so this is the available space that we can use but we will only use at least 30 gig or I'm gonna make it 35 gig for our Ubuntu OS then click shrink sweet for it and now as you can see we have a 34.18 gig unallocated space so in this part we will install or put the Ubuntu operating system so now we're done with this management now this is the time to install our bootable device to our PC click restart when the BIOS appear just click delete but it depends on your BIOS so this is my BIOS now as you can see I have the Windows Boot Manager which is already installed in my PC but now we will choose this USB disk which is our bootable device so we will just click the boot menu or F8 to run the bootable device and click USB desk so this is it we're starting to install the Ubuntu OS and here you can just escape by pressing Ctrl C to cancel the file system checks but for me I allow my computer to be checked now we are here installation of Ubuntu so make sure you choose the English language or the language you prepare and click install and here just choose English English click continue and here you can connect your Wi-Fi or escape this but now I'm going to connect my Wi-Fi and click continue just wait for it and here of course click normal installation and also click install third-party software because this is important for you to have uh, basic applications that necessary to your computer so we'll click continue here is the most important part you must follow it correctly to avoid any damage or wrong installation so as you can see install Ubuntu alongside with Windows Boot Manager I already done that before and here also is erase this and install Ubuntu and you can add other features but now we will be using the something else this is the most crucial part in this installing dual boot so make sure that you follow it carefully so as you can see we will be using now the free space with 336,701 MB which is the 
an allocated desk that we use or the created during the disk management. We will click this plus button and as you can see the art size type of new partition primary or logical location for new partition now in type of for new partition we will use the logical and then the location we will use the beginning of the space and use as ext for journaling file system just follow the settings for mount point use that symbol and click ok and for the device boot loader we will use the dev sd b5 or the partition that we made the 35 gig allocated space so that it won't override the windows files now click install so if you cannot change listed just click continue so now let's choose the location and here put your name and wait for the process or the loading this is the common installation process so we will just make it faster to shorter this tutorial and now it is done successfully installed and the Ubuntu OS is booting in our computer so please remove installation medium we will remove our USB drive so we'll just wait for the boot process so as you can see just click enter to boot up directly to our new operating system which is the Ubuntu OS so this is now the Ubuntu so we will just speed it up and restart our computer to turn back to our primary OS which is the Windows 11 and now we are in our BIOS and as you can see in the boot priority we have the Ubuntu and Windows boot manager installed in the same SSD or disk and we will go now to boot menu and we'll choose the windows to boot up and there you go we are in our windows OS so that's all for today and I hope that you learned something in this video if you are new in this channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell below See you in my next video, goodbye and God bless.